Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between PVC rated network cables. Now the difference between these types of cables, it's not what's on the inside of the cable. And it's not whether it's a CAT5, CAT6, or CAT7. That doesn't matter. The difference is, is what's on the outside of the cable. And I'm talking about the outer jacket that protects the cable. And these PVC ratings are either plenum, riser, or just a general purpose cable. So when you decide to use one of these cables, that will depend on the environment that the cable will be used for. And it's very important to know the difference between these cables and where to use them. Now, just like its name says, plenum cables should be used in plenum areas. Now, the term plenum refers to a space in a building where there is open airflow circulation. And this is usually between the drop ceiling and the structural ceiling. So as a result, buildings that have plenum spaces where there is adequate open air flow are more prone to fires than buildings that don't have plenum spaces. So therefore, cables that run through these plenum spaces must meet certain requirements. So first, the cable must be more fire resistant, and secondly, they must not produce any toxic fumes if they are burned, because toxic fumes in plenum areas can recirculate through the air conditioning systems and cause harm to humans. So in this environment, this is where plenum cables should be used. Now, buildings that don't have plenum spaces will have air ducts encapsulating the airflow. So there is no open airflow circulation because of these air ducts, because the air is encapsulated in them. So the chances of a fire happening and recirculating toxic fumes are minimal. So here is an example where you could use non-plenum cables. Now, plenum cables are also known as CMP, which stands for Communications Multipurpose Plenum. Plenum cables are approved by Underwriters Laboratories, which is a global safety certification company. And they have certified that these cables can be used in an open air environment and are designed to meet strong fire safety test standards. Now, the outer jacket and plenum cables are made with special plastics and are coated with Teflon FEP, which is a flame retardant made by DuPont. These cables are designed for hazardous open air spaces in a building. And in addition, if they do get burned, they won't release any toxic gases. Now these cables are more expensive than non-plenum cables and are primarily used for commercial use. Now PVC or polyvinyl chloride is the material that the outer jackets of a cable are made of. And as I said before, these cables have different ratings. Now PVC cables that are rated as non-plenum should not be used in plenum areas. These cables are a lot cheaper than plenum cables, but the problem is, is that they are not as fire retardant. And in addition, if these cables are burned, they can release toxic gases such as hydrochloric acid and dioxin. But as I said before, these cables should not be used in plenum areas. Now there is another type of PVC rated cable that is called CMR. And CMR stands for Communications Multipurpose Cable Riser. And these cables are installed vertically that rise between floors in a building. These cables are run through risers or vertical shafts and are designed to prevent fires from spreading between floors in a building. The fire rating of CMR cables are not as strict as plenum rated cables, so they should not be used in plenum areas. And CMR cables are also less expensive than plenum cables. And then finally, there is PVC CM cables. CM, or Communications Multipurpose, is a network cable for general use. These cables have minimal fire restrictions. This is a cable that you would use to connect your computer or network device into a wall jack to access a network. And these are the cheapest of the three cables. So, in conclusion, plenum rated cables are used in drop ceilings or under floors and have the highest safety standards. 
Riser cables are used on and in walls between floors and have lower safety standards than plenum cables. And CM cables are used in rooms and have minimal safety standards. So thank you everyone for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and thank you for watching.